guys, welcome back to Graceful Beauty. Today I just want to do a quick video showing you how much sunscreen do you really need to be applying on your face, neck, and your chest. Now I know there is specific um, measurements and I think it's two milligrams per centimeter and so today we're not going to break that calculation down for you because it's too technical for me to figure all that out. Actually, there are websites that break that amount down so you can figure out the exact calculation that you should be putting on your face, and I will link that website that I found down below. So, if, you know, if you are really interested in learning how to do the proper measurements, you can, but I will just briefly show you the steps and after like the second step, well now actually after the first step, my brain started kind of hurting. So I was like, yeah, we're not gonna do that. But number one, you find a measuring tape or a flexible ruler. Number two, take the end of your tool, place it on the front of your left ear without blocking the opening. Number three, so you get what I'm saying. I didn't want to go through all that. But that is, from what I have learned, the calculation to how to figure out how much sunscreen you really should apply if you're trying to be exact. But everything else that I've learned over the years says it's roughly about a half a teaspoon to your face, neck, and your chest. Depending on the size of your face and your neck and your chest, obviously that will vary. Of course, I'm not telling you that you have to do a half a teaspoon or you have to do a certain amount. Do what works for you, but I'm just going to show you a little demonstration of what it looks like if you are applying roughly a half a teaspoon, which is what you roughly should be using to your face, neck, and chest. And notice how I keep stressing face, neck, and chest. A lot of us only focus our skincare on our face, and then, you know, as we age, we see all of the wrinkles and all of the texture and the hyperpigmentation on our neck and our chest. So we really need to try to be uh, more careful and applying it to our face, neck, and chest. So just always remember that your neck and your chest are an extension of your face. So whatever skincare you're putting on your face or sunscreen, bring it all the way down. I bring it all the way down as low as I possibly can. So, and just ignore my big bun on the top of my head. I just like to pull all my hair up when I'm putting on my morning skincare and sunscreen and even when I do my makeup. I can't stand having my hair touch my face, especially when I'm getting ready. And even on days when I wear my hair down, I still end up pulling it back up. My mom actually used to fix my hair like this when I was a little girl. So whenever I do this, I always think of when my sister used to call me egghead, dumbo ears, pug nose. So she was really lovely, <laughs> actually. I was a total brat, so. hey, that's okay. We won't talk about the names that I used to call her. <laughs> so I have a lot of different sunscreens that I like for different days, depending on if my face is a little dehydrated or if it's more oily that day. But my normal go-to everyday sunscreen is my Skin Medica. This is their Essential Defense, their mineral sunscreen. It is an all physical sunscreen. It has an SPF of 32 and it's got 6% zinc oxide and 5% titanium dioxide. But my newest favorite, I can't decide which one I like the best, is by Peter Thomas Roth. This is their SPF 45. This is also an all physical mineral sunscreen. It has 1.93 of titanium dioxide, but it has 19.24 of zinc oxide, and I really am enjoying this sunscreen. Today I'm gonna to use one that's pretty inexpensive, and I really like it. It's not my absolute favorite, but it's nice if you're looking to get a sunscreen that's not super expensive. This is by Australian Gold. It is an all mineral sunscreen also. It's got 4% zinc oxide and 4% titanium dioxide. This dries down to you know a nice satin finish, but sometimes it just starts to get really dry throughout the day. So it's not my go-to sunscreen, but I do really enjoy wearing this and it looks really beautiful underneath your makeup. So this is what I'm gonna use for today's video to show you what it looks like and how to apply the proper amount to your face, neck, and chest. I'm also gonna use my handy little half a teaspoon and I don't do this every time I put my sunscreen on, of course, but I just wanna show you how much you would actually need. So I hear a lot of people say, oh, I love that sunscreen, a little goes a long way. Ignore that. If you hear people saying that, that's not good because most people would maybe put this much on right here on their face. I mean, this is how much foundation I use, but as far as sunscreen, you're not gonna get protection at all if you only use this little pea size amount on your face. So let's just fill it up 
this is probably what most people would use right here. And as you can see, let's see if you can see that. I mean, look at that, that's nothing. So I'm just gonna fill it up all the way and then I'll even level it off just so it's not too much. So I filled up my half a teaspoon with all of the sunscreen and I've leveled it off. And again, a half a teaspoon, this is not mandatory that you use this exact amount on your face, neck, and chest because again, your face could be a different size, things like that. So if you really wanna do the full calculation, feel free to do so. Let's see how this applies to my face, neck, and chest. Also, I typically don't put tinted down my neck and my chest because if I have a shirt that, you know, the neck comes up, I don't like to get makeup or tinted sunscreen on my clothing. So usually I'll put a portion of my tinted on my face and then I'll bring a non-tinted down my neck and chest, but use whatever works best for you. And then I just rub it in with my fingers. I never use a makeup brush or a, a beauty blender or blending sponge when I apply my sunscreen because then you're just defeating the whole purpose of trying to use the right amount because you know a blending uh, sponge or a makeup brush, it's gonna shear out the product. So I recommend always using your fingers when you're applying your sunscreen. And you know, put it on the back of your neck also, and you wanna put it on your ears. And this is tinted, but it's not so tinted to where you would see makeup all over my ears. So I kinda of get it on the insides here and around the top of them. With this sunscreen, I normally wouldn't put this full amount on right away. I would split the amount in half, and I would put half of it all over, let it sit for a few minutes, and then I would put the rest of it on. And it really seems to blend out better that way. I'm just gonna go all the way down. I even do my eyelids and my lips. And I get it all the way up into the hairline. And that's it. Now you can see this blended out quite lovely. Now, I'm not gonna go right in and put a primer or a foundation on immediately. I like to let my sunscreen soak in for like 20 to 30 minutes. Now I know if you don't have that kind of time, I understand that you can't do that, but you know, maybe once you wake up in the morning, you wash your face, do your skincare, slap on your sunscreen then, and then go make your coffee or you know, fix your hair or do whatever else you do. So maybe try to change up your routine a little bit so that you are able to allow your sunscreen to soak in. Now remember, you're not only wearing sunscreen to prevent a sunburn, or you're not only wearing it on days where you're gonna go to the beach or be out in the sun. You should be wearing sunscreen every single day of the year, even in the winter, even on rainy days, even on cloudy days. You know, there's two types of rays, the UVA rays and the UVB rays. These are the ultraviolet rays. Typically the UVB rays, those are the ones that would burn your skin. So I just always remember UVB burn. Those are the ones that cause you to tan, cause you to burn. And the UVA rays, those are mainly the ones that break down your collagen in your skin, which cause wrinkles, hyperpigmentation. Make sure that you're wearing a sunscreen every single day. You don't wanna be dealing with the same kind of issues that I am now dealing with in my mid 40s that I could have prevented most of it if I would have worn the proper sunscreen and the proper amount in my younger years. It's not just for our looks, it's also you know for skin cancer to prevent things like that. So. Feel free to share this video with others so that they too can learn the proper amount of sunscreen to apply to their face. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to click that thumbs up if you did like this video. I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. And if you wanna be one of the first ones notified when I do post a new video, when you click subscribe, just tap that little bell and you'll get notified instantly when I do post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day and don't forget to wear your sunscreen.